Hello stampers and crafters. Welcome to today's video and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sarah McGuire from Sassy Paper Crafts. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and today's project is this one. Now this is a little bit different than our traditional card. This is a wine tag. Perfect for gift giving this holiday season. So if you would like to see how to make this super cute, quick and easy wine tag, please keep watching. Before we get started on our project today, I wanna to quickly mention that Celebration and the new January to April mini catalog, which is our spring mini catalog, are coming soon. Now, if you are new to Celebration, when you shop, host, or join, during Celebration, you earn free products. Celebration starts January 4th and ends February 29th, and our mini catalog also starts January 4th and ends at the end of April, but it's got tons of great spring products in it. So if you would like your copy of these catalogs, I can't show you the insides yet, but if you'd like copies of these so you can see them for yourself, click the link in the description of this video to request a catalog from me. So let's get started on our project. It's super quick and easy. So what I did was I made this little wine tag. I have found these little small bottles of wine at Walmart. Um, I'll show you too how to make the tag for a larger standard size bottle of wine. But I matched the color to the lid. I think I did okay. I chose Lost Lagoon. There were several different colors in this brand and my husband was actually pointing at them and I was telling him what color I would use. So there was like a Melon Mambo. <laughs> there was um, a Cherry Cobbler. There's all kinds of different colors. So I chose this one. This is a Pinot Grigio. And I went with Lost Lagoon. We're going to be using the Cheers to the Season stamp set. I love this stamp set. There are five cling stamps in here. I've done two other projects that are on my blog. And all the measurements for this project are also on my blog. Just click the link in the description of this video. The very first link will take you right to this project. And then you can go back and see the other projects I made with this stamp set. So to start, get my Lost Lagoon ink pad. And all our pieces. I already stamped the underside of our tag here. I just used a retired to and from stamp that I had and the stylus shapes dies which I'll be using to cut out our um, hole to put on our wine bottle. So I used this square here, the second small, oh no, the third, the middle one. <laughs> I used the middle one to cut out our tag there. And then for the bottle what I did was I took tags and I just kind of saw which one would fit. So if you have a larger bottle of wine and the stylus shape dies, you can just take circles and put them over. Like obviously this one is way too big, but if you had a big bottle of wine, you could, I think it would probably be that one, but you put it over and that's how you determine the size you need. I tried this one at first. I thought I would need this one. This is clear. Oops, I'm getting them everywhere. This is clearly way too big and this is way too small. So I went with that guy there and put these away. And then we have a little bit of crumb cake. I did score it. Again, all the measurements are on my blog. I'm just going to fold that over a little bit. I'm going to need my mini Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine, and we're just going to die cut that quickly and move that out of the way. So for our original tag, I didn't set my die in place so you can see it's a little over to the left so in order to get it to stay flat I am going to grab a post-it note and I'm going to put it what it looks like center I'm just going to grab that post-it note and put it across there so it stays and then I'm just going to run this through the machine so now that our die cutting is done, I've put my machine away. I've removed the post-it note and we have this nice little circle and it's nicely stitched. We're going to do a bit of stamping. So I'm going to grab my Very Vanilla. Again, all the measurements for these pieces are on my blog. Very Vanilla Lost Lagoon Ink. We have two stamps from the Cheers to the Season um, stamp set. For big stamps like this, I like to take the ink pad directly to the stamp and just kind of ink, ink, ink. And this is a distinctive stamp set, meaning 
it's going to leave like more of a textured kind of impression. You'll see that there's like a splotch there. That's on purpose. If you look at the stamp set, you'll see that that's supposed to be there. So I inked up my wine glass. I'm just going to stamp right onto that very vanilla and put a little bit of pressure. I did that a little bit too high. Let's flip that over. Good thing paper has two sides. So I'm going to ink it up again. go lower this time. Perfect. Now we're going to take the little bubbly circles from the Cheers to the Season. I'm going to ink those up right there. I like them because they look kind of like champagne bubbles. I'm just going to kind of go around. And before I put my Lost Lagoon away, I want to do something to give it this nice vintage effect. I have a sponge dauber here. These come in a pack of five. They're very affordable and a great way to add just a little more detail to your card. So I have one for every like color family. So I have like a red one here that I use for reds. This one is like the greens, blues, whatever colors you like to use. I have several of them. I'm just going to put this on my finger, ink it up, and I'm just kind of flicking the edges of my cardstock. I'm getting a little bit of ink just on the edge there. Like I said, it gives it more of a vintagey look. I just like how it looks. Let's flick, flick, flick go around the side one more time. I'm kind of in the corners. A little bit more just to get a little bit of that color onto the cardstock and that's it so then I'm gonna grab my Wink of Stella glitter brush I love Wink of Stella you can't really tell when you're looking I don't know if the camera is gonna pick up on that but when you're looking at it you can definitely see that there are some sparkles on here and Wink of Stella is a nice kind of mess free way to give a little bit of sparkle. So what I'm going to do is this works just like a water painter or aqua painter if you ever used um, our water painters. You squeeze the barrel and you'll get the glitter will come to the tip of the brush. What I'm going to do though, you can paint this. You can just put some on your glass if you like, but I'm going to take and I'm going to flick it. And I know you're not able to see this, but I'm leaving little drops of glitter onto our card and I don't, or our card our card stock and I can see it I don't know if you can but it's just another subtle little detail maker I like doing stuff like this again I'm gonna maybe go to the bottom of that wine glass maybe the side here just to give it a little sparkle so that's it for Wink of Stella now we can put our tag together so I'm going to take some stamp and seal and just run it along the back of that. I have my Lost Lagoon piece. Again, all the measurements are on my blog. First link in the description of this video. And then we can use our piece again. I have misplaced my little tag for the back, the to and from on the back here. But all you need to do is take a square and then I just like I said had a retired to and from stamp that would go on the back I misplaced it I don't know it's around here somewhere <laughs> but before we finish I want to add a little bit of sparkle so I have some tinsel gems this is the tinsel gem three pack I'm gonna grab my take your pick tool and these are lost lagoon ones that down at the bottom to me they kind of almost looked like bubbles so like I don't know if you're doing champagne I think that would be really cute I just think this is a, such a cool little gift idea. I would love to get something like that from a friend or coworker. Hint, hint. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed our project today. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more card making and crafting videos from me. Uh, again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this project. Have a wonderful weekend and thanks so much for watching.